So we're blessed every day to be given the gift of taking care of babies and their families and becoming part of their families as a, a function of what we do. We have an extraordinary team and when folks in the community think about what we do in newborn intensive care, I don't think they always understand that, that we're not just caring for the babies and the families once they're in the newborn intensive care unit, but we're given the opportunity to work with the team um, on labor and delivery and the antepartum service, which is where moms come in that are threatening to deliver early or have challenges throughout the pregnancy. And then we consult with the maternal fetal medicine team um, with the goal of doing the right thing for the mom and for the baby prior to delivery. We were just excited, thought it would be a normal pregnancy. <laughs> you know, always kind of do with your first, I think. And then we were camping actually on Beaver Mountain when my water broke at about 17 weeks, like you said. And we were told that you were probably gonna have a miscarriage. And so when we, we learned of the fluid leaking right around 17 weeks, and then we continued to take care of Olivia with the goal of trying to extend pregnancy as long as possible, we had this ongoing concern that his lung would not necessarily be uh, one that would support life. And so we had lots of difficult decisions, but came up with a plan to have him deliver when he delivered and then afford him every opportunity of doing well. I was scared. Um, you just have to realize that we go through hard things and we can do it. And so I became hopeful and just had to put on, you know, you had to just be positive. She was doing really well. And then um, Walter decided that um, it was time to come. And um, she had some bleeding and um, his heart rate um, went down. And so they had to do a C-section. And Walter was born at 27 weeks. When he ultimately delivered, he did have some of the challenges that are related to the low fluid in a situation that we call pulmonary hypoplasia, which is effectively just lungs that are Im very, very immature and undergrown. And he had some challenges related to that right after birth, but now we're 80 plus days into his care and we've worked through those early challenges and he's proving to be a miracle like all babies are. And he's worked through tremendous amounts of support and now he's on the back end of that. I've got to tell you that um, when he extubated this last time and he was finally successful, there was quite a bit of dancing in the unit, not only by his parents, but by all of the practitioners, the nurses, everybody was so excited, everybody coming in. They all treat him like their own baby, really, really good. And they care a lot about us and Walter and all the other babies, you can tell. They all love their job and they work really, really well together. They got each other's backs and they do good. They do good things. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone here and our family and neighbors. They helped out a lot. <laughs> and and to thank God as well for letting us keep our baby. Miracles happen. <laughs>